dividing fractions. Not only dividing fractions, but I'm going to show you how to divide mixed numbers and divide a fraction by a whole. And hopefully we get a good idea of some of the vocabulary that goes along with this. If you've seen my video on reciprocals, you know that division of fractions is one of the very first places that reciprocals is introduced. And we don't actually divide fractions at all. We, we change them to multiplication problems. And the process that we use to do that is we change the division sign to multiplication and we take the reciprocal of the second fraction. Now remember, reciprocal means to flip the fraction. So the numerator becomes the denominator and the denominator becomes a numerator. So if I was gonna go about trying to solve 3 eighths divided by 2 fifths, I would keep the first fraction exactly the same, 3 eighths. I would change my division sign to multiplication and I would flip my 2 fifths so that the 5 is now my numerator and the 2 is now my denominator. And now I can multiply these two fractions together. Now before I multiply them I always look top to bottom or bottom to top to see if anything can reduce within the fraction itself and then I look diagonally to see if anything can reduce. And I don't see anything that can divide into both 3 and 2 or 5 and 8 so I'm going to go ahead and multiply these. The way we multiply is we multiply numerator times numerator. 3 times 5 is 15. And we multiply denominator times denominator. 8 times 2 is 16. And so I have, since nothing could reduce before I multiplied, I have a completely reduced answer in 15 sixteenths. All right, let's try another one. In this one, we have 3 and a fourth, and we want to divide it by 1 and 2 ninths. Now, what we have to go back and understand is that the number 3 here means 3 wholes. And in order to have a whole, we have to have 4 out of 4 pieces. So 3 and 1 fourth is actually the same thing as 4 fourths plus 4 fourths plus, plus 4 fourths. And then there's my three holes, and then I'm adding the one-fourth to it. When I put this all together, 4, 8, 12, 13, I get a total of 13 fourths. One and two ninths, in this case, nine is how many pieces it takes to make a hole, so this one represents nine ninths. It represents nine ninths. So I have my nine ninths plus my two ninths which gives me a total when I add the numerators of 11 ninths. So that's one way that we can change our mixed numbers to improper fractions. Let me show you a different way. All right, in this way, we are going to take what we know is going to make a whole, which is our four pieces, and we're gonna multiply them. And so we have four representing how many pieces it takes to make a whole. Well, if we multiply four times our three holes, we're gonna get how many pieces those holes are made up of. Four times three is 12. And then we add on the one extra piece that we have left over, and that gives us a total of 13 fourths, which means we have 13 pieces, and we need to put four of them together in order to make a whole. Let's do the same thing here. In order to make a whole, we need nine pieces. So we multiply nine times the one whole that we have, which is nine. We add the two, and that gives us 11 pieces. So in order to make a whole, we need nine of them, and we have a total of 11 right now. So both ways, we're able to get the same division problem. Now let's use our knowledge of reciprocals and actually get an answer. I'm going to keep the first fraction exactly the same. I'm going to change division to multiplication. And I'm going to take the reciprocal of my second fraction. 9 now becomes my numerator. 11 becomes my denominator. And again, I'm going to look. 9 and 11 can't reduce. 13 and 4 can't reduce. And nothing diagonally can reduce either. And so now I'm going to multiply. 
top times top, which gives me 117, and bottom times bottom, or denominator times denominator, which gives me 44. Now, 44 is going to be able to divide into 117 twice, and it's going to leave me with 29 pieces left over. So this turns out to be kind of a, a weird mixed number. All right, so we've talked about dividing fractions. We've talked about dividing mixed numbers. Now I'm going to show you how to take a fraction and divide it by just a regular whole number. In this case, I'm taking 1 fifth, and I want to divide it by 3. Well, the first thing that I need to do is I need to make 3 into a fraction. And the way that you can take any number and make it into a fraction is by putting 1 underneath it. Okay, made it a fraction. Let me move it up a little bit. So now we're going to go through the same steps as we did in the first example. I'm just going to keep my first fraction exactly the same. I'm going to change division to multiplication. And I'm going to take the reciprocal of my second fraction. So my denominator now becomes my numerator. My numerator now becomes my denominator. I can go ahead and multiply numerator times numerator. 1 times 1 is going to give me 1. And same thing with denominators. 5 times 3 is going to give me a total of 15. And so when I take 1 fifth and divide it into 3 equal sections, I get 1 fifteenth each. So you've got all three ways now, and hopefully you're going to have no problem with dividing any sort of fraction, mixed number, or whole number.